A police investigation indicates that Shankella Robinson was alive when medical assistance initially arrived at the Cabo, Mexico vacation home where she was staying with a group of friends last month. The study contradicts the information on Robinson's death certificate, which stated that she died within 15 minutes of being injured. Instead, a police report extract reveals that a doctor from a nearby hospital was present in the residence for about three hours before Robinson was pronounced dead. This week, the Charlotte Observer got extracts from a police report that had not yet been made public. Details were first reported by Metropoly MX on Monday. Gerardo Zuniga, an investigative reporter for Metropoly MX in Los Cabos, submitted the material to the Observer. Robinson, a native of Charlotte, came to Cabo on October 28th. She died the next day. Notably, the police material recorded by and provided by Metropoly MX does not address Robinson's apparent physical injuries, which family members claim were present on her body before her burial. After conducting an autopsy, officials in Mexico ruled that grave injuries to her back and neck caused her death. According to the police report, she also experienced cardiac arrest. The FBI and Mexican police authorities have initiated investigations into her death since her passing. Due to the absence of convincing proof and contradictory explanations, her story has gone viral, provoking a global outrage among the innumerable individuals who closely follow Robinson's demise. Hashtag Justice for Shankella is a hot topic on Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. The Charlotte Observer has been unable to reach her traveling companions. As of Monday evening, no arrests were reported. When a Mexican autopsy report revealed that Robinson's cause of death with severe spinal cord injury and atlas luxation, her family became dubious of her friend's assertions that she died of alcohol intoxication. Atlas luxation is a specific type of neck injury. The observer sought to communicate with Cabo police via email and social media, but received no response. The observer was informed by Zuniga that he acquired the internal law enforcement report from a source. The family of Robinson did not respond to several calls and messages. At 2.13 p.m. on October 29th, medical assistance was requested at Cabo Villa's Villa Linda 32 in San Jose del Cabo. According to the information on the police report, according to report excerpts, Dr. Carolina Beatriz Ornelas Gutierrez of the American Medical Center, a local hospital, arrived around one hour later to treat Robinson. In tourist centers in Mexico, normal non-emergency medical care offered in vacation homes are prevalent. Monday, the observer confirmed with American Medical Center that Gutierrez is employed by the institution. The hospital failed to reply to requests for the autopsy and medical records. It is unclear from the police report excerpt who called for medical assistance. However, Winter Donovan of Greensboro is named as the reporting party. Donovan is one of six individuals mentioned by family, friends, and media sources as going with Robinson. Donovan cannot be reached for comment and her given phone number in the police report had been disconnected. The excerpt from the police report is in Spanish. According to a Charlotte Observer staff translation of the document, Dr. Gutierrez stated that she was informed that Robinson had drunk a lot of alcohol and that she required an intravenous line. The police report notes that Gutierrez discovered a female, Robinson, according to the report, with stable vital signs but dehydrated, unable to interact verbally, and exhibiting signs of intoxication. The doctor claimed that she believed Robinson should be taken to a hospital, but Robinson's friend urged her to be treated in the villa. According to the paragraph from the report, Dr. Gutierrez attempted an IV but failed. It is unknown what drug was contained in the IV. According to police evidence, the doctor was present for about an hour before Robinson began experiencing a seizure. According to the report, the spasms following the seizure lasted less than one minute. At this point, the patient's friend, named Winter Donovan, called 911 to request for an ambulance. According to the observer's Spanish to English translation of the report, it was approximately 4.20 p.m. In the meantime, the patient presented with difficulty breathing and a lowered pulse, and they gave her rescue breaths. At 4.49 p.m., when Gutierrez observed that Robinson no longer had a pulse, the doctor and a buddy initiated CPR. At 5.25 p.m., police arrived and spoke with the doctor who was treating Robinson. There is no indication in the police record as to what time the ambulance responded to the 911 call. The report information indicates paramedics administered a total of 14 rounds of CPR, 5 doses of adrenaline, and 6 discharges AED shocks without success. According to the report excerpt, Gutierrez declared Robinson dead at 5.57 p.m. since she was unable to revive her. The person died, cardiopulmonary arrest, is listed as the reason police were summoned in the police report.